IC 61045 Surge Generator Working Principle Surges are a key problem in electronics since they are every circuit developer's biggest concern. These surges are usually referred to as impulses, which have the distinct characteristics of high voltages, typically in the KV range, that remain for a brief period. The features of an impulse voltage may be identified by a high or low fall time followed by a very high voltage increase time. An example of impulse voltage from a natural cause can be lightning. Let's find out more about the working principle of the unit. Read on to find out more. Since this impulse voltage may appear to be extremely harmful to electrical equipment, it is crucial to test the gadgets to ensure that they can withstand it. This is where a surge generator, which creates high voltage or current surges, comes in handy. Basic Working Principle The EC61045 standard specifies the immunity criteria, test methodologies, and the range of standard testing levels for equipment against unidirectional surges generated by overvoltage from switching and lightning transients. The testing levels for electrical and electronic equipment are determined depending on the environment and installation circumstances. The primary goal of this standard is to create a consistent reference for measuring the resistance of electrical and electronic equipment to surges. Surge Protection IEC 61045 Immunity Stress is intended to be indicative of voltage or current pulses that are generated on power networks by events that occurred outside of the equipment under test. Surges can be caused by power system switching transients, such as capacitor bank switching or load shifts. Surges on electrical lines could also be caused by lightning, either as a direct hit to a transmission line or as a result of a surrounding lightning strike. A surge generator is used to accomplish the capacitor discharge technique. This equipment transforms line power into high voltage, unidirectional impulses, which are then sent through a faulty power connection. Capacitor charges are proportional to the voltage of the power supply. When the switch is closed, the capacitor discharges a high voltage impulse into the cable under test. Upon analyzing the findings, the curve illustrates how time influences the voltage at which a gap will flash over. The curve is developed by applying increasingly larger voltages to the gap and tracking the time lag until it sparks over. The curve will reveal, the smaller the time delays before flashover, the greater the applied voltage. There is often a small and minimal time lag and below which the gap can never flash over. A minimal amount voltage, shown by the minimum breakdown voltage, exists below which a gap will not flash over within a normal test time of several minutes. The takeaway. In short, the surge generator, aka a thumper, is an important component when it comes to locating cable faults. The voltage and energy capability of the gadget evaluate the effectiveness with which defects can be broken down and found. When choosing a unit, consider the type of cabling and total length being tested. Hope this helps.